turn a pro in skateboarding skill wise is one thing, but like you need to turn pro up here. They and believe you are now a pro. Appreciate the lessons, the pain, everything. Okay. It's a lot of inner drive, inner yes. motivation. Um, so, in terms of you know being a skateboarder, professional skateboarder, there's a lot of resilience that you learn. Yes. Um, I love just do skateboarding, but also about yourself. When I'm skating, it's really it's it's really dedicated now. Before I would skate for like eight hours a day, okay. just non-stop, just get on the board. And was that more like uh, for yourself, or yes. was, I guess now it's more planned? Yeah, now it's more planned because I mean. With that eight hours every single day, what you're trying to do is basically just like, you know, break through the barriers of progression. Exactly. You know, just like, trying to just get more comfortable on the board. Mm -hmm. Right now, when I just skate, it'll be like two or three hours, but like, dedicated two or three hours to getting this right, getting that done. So it's more of a controlled, um, like, mission you can set up for yourself. Exactly. You're working towards that. Exactly. Okay, so we both have a tattoo representing a point of something great in our lives. Yes. So my tattoo is of a pilgrim. Okay. Do you know what a pilgrim is? Uh, not exactly. So there you go. That's oh, okay. The sign okay. Here. Oh, the sign. Oh, the sign. Right. 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 And well, obviously yours is Tampa. Yes. Tampa. So tell me a little bit like about that scenario. So like, what was that point? That when you realised things became big for you. Yes. I okay. Mean, I, I'll, I'll never forget, you know, when I started skateboarding and I had like a crew of friends and we would skate both on a Sunday or a weekend or something and before we go skate, we'd watch skate videos to get like a month for And um, how we, where we watch those videos was either we did someone would have a video or we'd go to like the place so you can get internet yes, and, and um, you watch videos. And we watch. Uh, each cafe, each cafe was a thing when we were growing up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we go there and watch so much, like just go through the channels. Yeah. We watch Temper and uh, 2010, 20, mm. whatever. And, you know, and I watch so much and just think to myself, in my mind, you know, watching this Nathan, in my mind, I was telling myself, like, one day I'm going to practice, like, and just try and get to a level where I can go to practice contest. And then the day came with the, you know, like, Got up to go to M, and I went there, and the, the video was up there. That was like, it was like, it was an amazing experience. So it was like playing in like, yeah. the soccer stadium. <laughs> Me was like okay, wow, you know, I've reached my you know the goal or like something I wanted to do all my life, and then from there, it kind of pulled it down to like okay, now I'm at 10 for M, you know, now I can maybe think about you know going to like full up skateboarding, yeah, five sports so it just opens it, but like you, yeah, it, like we're like okay, now we're actually in the big game. So, with my this is a, a fulcrum actually, it's like a punctuation mark that means a beginning of a new paragraph. And got the tattoo, and then like it was like a constant reminder of going, no, this is your new paragraph. Like no one else is gonna yeah. pay anything, and that's how kind of full grade thing was born. Um, so I think like food skating has a culture, as we have discussed several times, and that culture has rules. You can't just join. You must prove yourself constantly. Exactly. How would you agree with me? I 100% agree. It's important to put. That same amount of effort, that same amount of energy on when you're alone, um, you know, as opposed to when everyone is watching. If you can win, you know, when no one is watching, you know, you won every single game. That's that's the main thing because at the end of the day, you know, the same that you know, your only competition is yourself. No. And that, that 
Am I going to sit through this? Am I going to go through every step of the way and respect the process of it? You know, or am I going to you know, give up halfway and find a way to cut corners? Yeah. And when you start cutting corners, it becomes a habit. And you start to lose a lot of the steps. Um, you know, and a lot of the lessons that you, know, you need to learn that's helped you at some point in your life. So it's really important to take work to kind of, you know, you know, build your work away from that and not necessarily not just because you're trying to get somewhere because there's lessons that you only you will learn if yeah. there's needs of you will learn. It's the basics that you actually have to build up on foundational all of exactly. that stuff, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Same with cooking. I mean both David and I started washing dishes, like that's how we started out there. Yes. <laughs> and you have to and like it's really, really long process. The beauty of skateboarding is that, you know, no one styles the same. Okay. Like, yeah. So I yeah. see that in other uses as well. And when somebody you know works their way up the data, that person will learn about themselves, mm. lessons about themselves that nobody else can use to learn. And it's what sets them apart. Exactly. If they're personally serious. Exactly. And no one else will learn those lessons. So no. that's why it's important, you know. Do you feel skateboarding can often more often more to non-skateboarding people? It has such a big influence on the world now. When you get into the history of skateboarding, you kind of see where it all started and why it's so influential. And then you take those same lessons into life, into something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's no end to it. I think that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. Skateboarding has no end to it. There's no end. There's, there's limit to So mm-hmm. every day you're, you're sitting with a bank canvas mm-hmm. and you can make, make it what you want. Then not to give away my age or anything, but I grew up watching Jackass and being a fan of Zero and Bandit yes. And my position now is that the punk attitude and scheduling back then has gone away and it's become a lot more wholesome and healthier. Um, do you feel that's true as well? Um, I think that, I mean, I grew up watching uh, Jackass, you know, before, <laughs> before all that, that. <laughs> I think, you know, I grew up watching uh, CKY, and, you know, that's one of my favorite bands as well, yeah. um, and obviously Bam on Jitter, you know, mm. legend, uh, Steve was a legend, you know, Johnny Knox was a legend. I think as skateboarders, we all individuals, and I think mm. like, off the board, we have our own lifestyles. Yeah. Um, whether or not it affects our skateboarding. Or not. Because it has become yeah. more mainstream. I mean, like the Promenade Mondays, yeah. and you know, it's it's kind of it's, it's sort of coincided with the trend with veganism and then the sustainability, yeah. like you know, you know, more eco and things like that. I agree. I agree. It's a lot more um, healthy. Yeah. There's a lot more uh, changes in, the, in terms of in terms of that. And I mean, you see a lot of skateboarders. I mean, pure skateboarders that we've got in our life that are training constantly. Guys like you know, Nigel Houston, Felipe Gustavo, all these guys mm. that you look up to, they train hard um, mm. and their lifestyles are um, you know, the, the way that they conduct themselves every single day makes them more of it. Yeah. And talking about like global community, the skateboard community, um, it seems that it's divided on the topic of the Olympics. Now, you are obviously completely pro it. Why are other people so strongly against us? You can explain to someone like me who has no background in the this. Maybe they see it as, main, as mainstream. Okay. Maybe, or, or, you know, or something that, you know, will harm skateboarding as, as, as a sport or a name. Okay. Um, but in my, in, in, in my opinion, I think, you know, Having skateboarding on the biggest platform in the world, and you know, I can tell you for first hand, it was very difficult for me to be uh, recognized, and you know, or not just recognized, but you know, higher teams. It's very difficult to convince because it's. I always used to get like a, a look mm. skateboarding. You know, is you know, is that even a, is that a thing? A yeah. Skills, you know, can you can you go somewhere in life, or you know, yeah. and. If it's at the highest level of sport in the world, you know, with anything else, exactly what I'm that's, saying. A, that's a pathway. You know, I yeah. see that as a pathway to 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 yeah. The world watches, you know, every country perform. The world watches, you know, 
you know, us as skateboarders, you know, what we both, you know, from the core skateboard, the street skateboard, you see the, 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 the yeah. I'd say the final product, but you know, you see something that was both from the street, yeah, um, of, of, of the sport. So it's, I, I definitely see the, the, the two sides of it, but I can, I know that, you know, listening to skateboarders that were the core that broad skateboard making work is I think the most that's the most important part is that skateboarders need to be, you know, constantly involved yeah. um, with where it goes. Mm. Um, and we as skateboarders mm. need to work strongly together mm. um, right now in order to go forward together. Yeah. And we will have the you know the opportunity to, to you know shock the world. Shock the world. And everybody can, you know, that's that's what I mean. Do you think we can grow an Olympic team here and develop skateboarding in South Africa? Or is this like a trip in those situation? <laughs> no, 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 we, we definitely we have the potential for sure. Yeah. I mean, to, to be involved. I mean, you know, I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen yeah. the likes of, you know, Moses Adams, yeah. go to Street League and, you know, shock the world. Um, I've seen Lamini Lamini as well, you know, it's, I don't think he's in South Africa right now, but yeah. another skateboarder that you can watch and just, you know, go out. This is this is South Africa. This is Africa. Yeah. If we and they both make the move to go get to ride, and my life so good. Yeah. Definitely, I've seen the. Okay. What's next for you right now? So for me, you know, I just turned professional this year. Was it a Tampa tattoo moment? Yes, it was. I guess it's still it hasn't set in because it's like you wait for something for so long and then it happens. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm just you know, moving on a lot of content and I'm going to start competing in the World Series again. Okay, awesome. So I'm looking forward to that and obviously now I'm you know, competing in pro events. Yes. So most likely I'll go to the uh, pro yeah. uh, as opposed to going to the Tampa Am. Alright, so as we come into traditional on my show, I ask the guests of their dream dishes and what they'd like to try or something that hits them with a bit of nostalgia. You said that you won the first international gold for South Africa in 2016 in China. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> so, obviously, when you said to me, seafood and Asia, that's like me going, love. So what we have made for you, which has never been done before here, oh, awesome. is a black and roast seafood platter. Oh, wow. So we can start over there. So that's a deep fried oyster, so oh, not wow. raw. And then it's topped with a char siu sauce. Then these muscles are from our bag. Oh, I went to go get them, you'll see in the reel. Yeah. Uh, especially for you. And then you cold poach them with kiwi mayo, edamame beans, spring onions from my garden. Um, yeah, and avocado. Yes, yes. And then obviously some prawns, and these are Argentinian prawns, which are apparently the only green listed prawns in the whole world. Oh. And then the next thing is what we call popcorn calamari. Okay. Then we have some um, cane green. Okay. And then some USA scallops. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we are talking a lot about USA and all of that. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully, it takes you back to winning your goal. <laughs> <laughs>